Hello everyone, Danasa here with Action VFX. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this cosmic energy effects from the Disney Plus show, Miss Marvel. This is going to be a very simple tutorial in Adobe After Effects. And if you want to follow along, feel free to download the project files in the description below. Before we move forward with the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification icon so you will not miss out on more contents like this one. And now, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is the backplate that we have. Here we see me outside just looking at my hand as you do. So the first thing I want to do is I want to mask or isolate my hand away from the rest of the backplate. We can do this using manual masking or roto brush, but thankfully I have already done that and I have rendered out the mask in a form of this black and white matte layer that we can use. And then we want to mask this plate here based on the luminance of this matte layer. So first, I want to duplicate our backplate. So we have one layer for the background and one that we can use for the hand. So let's go to track matte and luma matte. So if we disable the background plate, we can see that our hand has been isolated. So next, I want to pre-compose the hand and the matte together into one layer. And perfect. So next, before we add the effects, we want to stabilize the movement of my hand here. So let's get Mocha. I'm going to use Mocha for AE here. And then we want to go inside the Mocha. So what I want to stabilize is basically the general translation movement of the head. So I want to create a rough spline shape on the center here, which is around the wrist. And then we want to disable the shear, rotation, and scale, and then hit track. Great, now that we have our spline following the hand movement, let's close this Mocha and save. Now back in After Effects, let's go to the Mocha tracking data. And then we want to load the spline data that we have earlier. And then we want to turn this from a tracking data to a stabilizing data. So to do that, we want to hit invert. And then we want to change the export to transform here. And then the layer to this hand precom itself. And then apply. And now we have our hand stabilized. So if we turn on the background here, we can see how our hand is a little bit offset. So what we will do with this is we want to add our effect while my hand is being stabilized like this and then retract it back later. And to do that, we want to create a null and then back on the backplate layer, we want to disable the invert and then choose the layer export to our retract null and apply. So then if we parent our stabilized hand precom to that null, the layer is going to go back into place, but we will do that after we do our effects. So let's disable the parenting for now and let's deal with the stabilized hand. So next what I want to do is I want to pre-compose this again and I want to make sure to move all the attributes. This way, all the keyframes that allow for the stabilization is being baked in inside of the pre-comp. So now let's do the effects. First, let's create the solid and name it fractal and we want to put it behind the hand pre-comp and then we want to alpha mat the layer to it. And then we want to add fractal noise. And then we want to change the fractal type to dynamic and then the contrast to 215 and brightness to 15. And then let's scale down to around 50. And then I want to add a CC factor blur and set the amount to 33, reach smoothness to two and map softness to 12. So now the problem that we currently have is this texture that we have looks flat. So let's fix that by adding a displacement map and set the layer to the hand stabilized pre-comp and then increase the displacement. So now the texture is looking like it's being wrapped around the hand. And then I want to add some fast blur and set it to 0.2 and let's add tint and set the black color to blue. Perfect. Next, I want to make a specular reflection effect on our hand here to make it look more glossy. So let's duplicate the hand pre-comp and enable it. And then I want to add CC glass. And then I want to set the softness to 15, the height to minus 64, and let's zero out the displacement. And then we can also play around with the shape of the light. And then on the shading, we want to set the ambient and diffuse to zero and specular to 100, roughness to 0 0.08, and then the metalness to 30. And then we're going to get curve and punch up the brightness a little bit. And then on tint, I want to set the white color to a bit of magenta. 
And then we want to turn this blending mode to screen. And there we go. We have this specular highlights on our hand, making the energy look solid and reflective. So next, I want to duplicate the hand pre-comp again. And I want to make a shadow or like a ambient occlusion effect to add more dimension to our effects. So let's add tint and set the black to dark purple. And then I want to add curve and we want to create some contrast. And then we want to set this to multiply. And there we go. We have added a bit more shadow, which resulted to our energy hand here, having a bit more dimensional to it. Next, I want to add a little bit of energy wisps cruising along the edge of the hand. And to do that, I'm going to use assets from our energy ball collection, which if you download the project files for this tutorial, you will get a free 720p version of one of the energy balls. And of course, if you want to get the full assets in full HD to 4K glory, you can purchase them at actionvfx.com. Now, let's drag one of the energy ball into the composition here. And what we can do is to just position it on the hand and we want to grab a pen tool and create a mask to mask out only the edges of the energy ball. That way we have this like flaming energy on the edge of the hand. And then we want to basically just do this several more times around the hand. Another thing that you can do to add a little bit more depth to the energy ball to make it look like more of it's emitting from inside the hand, not just in front of it, is to duplicate the hand pre-comp and use that as a Luma map. So let's choose Luma inverted here. And there we go. We can see that the energy ball is like it's in the middle of the hand. And then of course we can fix it a little bit more by subtracting the middle with a mask here. So we don't have like the core of the energy ball very visible. Okay, so once we have all the energy balls set up, we can add tint to recolor them based on the color of the effects. And then we want to pre-compose all the energy balls together and perfect. Next, let's pre-compose everything except the backplate and the retract node. And then let's enable our background here. And of course, our hand is stabilized here. So let's go to the first frame and parent it back to the retract node. And this is what we have. We basically just created a purple glove on my hand. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create a little bit of softer transition around the wrist. Hit. So let's grab a pen tool and create a mask. And then we want to subtract it and then feather it quite high. And then we want to scale up our hand to make it look big. So let's select the pen behind tool and move the anchor point of the hand to the middle of the wrist here and scale it up. Now for the edge, we can keep it like this, like the energy is floating on the hand, but I want to make it look like it's stretching from inside of the hand. So let's get liquify and then click on the warp effect and then nudge the edges to fit the inside of my sleeve. Next, I want to mask my sleeve here to make it look like the energy is coming from inside of my jacket. So let's get Mocha on the back plate and I'm going to breeze through this step. But basically, I created a mask shape of the sleeve on Mocha. I tracked it and then adjust the shape of the mask to fit the outline of the sleeve. And then back in After Effects, duplicate the plate and put it on top. I go to Mocha here and create a E mask. And there we go. We have our plate automatically masked by the shape that we just created. However, we don't want to just put this layer on top of the effects. We want this layer to subtract to the layer of the hand pre-comp. So we want to set the track mat of the hand pre-comp to alpha inverted. Perfect. So now when I solo the hand layer here, we will have the subtraction visible. However, we can still see that we have some extra stuff at the bottom of the hand that we need to get rid of. So let's grab a pen tool and create another mask to add to the subtraction. Next, let's pre-compose all this hand stuff together. And then finally, we want to add some glow effects. So let's add a glow. I want to set the threshold to 56, radius to 23, and glow intensity to 0 0.8. And then we want to set the composite original to on top, and then change the color to A and B colors. And then for the color A, we want to set it a light bluish purple. And then on the B, we want to set it to something a bit more darker. Great. And then we want to duplicate the glow 
and then change the threshold to 35, radius to 75, and intensity to 1, and then composite on original to behind, and glow operation to screen. And there we go. So next what I want to do is I want to make this more blended to the background. So let's change the layer blending mode to lighten. And there we go. We have this really great look of the hand being a bit more semi-transparent. So it's a bit looking more like the energy is inside of the scene. However, I want the middle center of this effects to be a bit more thicker because I don't want to see my real hand inside of the effects. So we want to just duplicate the layer and then on the bottom one, we want to set the blending mode back to normal and delete all the effects. And then let's solo it for a second. And we want to add matte choker. And using matte choker, we basically just want to erode it quite high and then feather it a bit. And now we disable the solo, this is what we have. So on the outer edges, we have a little bit more of that lightened visibility, but as it gets more to the center, it gets a bit more thick. So the last thing I want to do is to add a displacement map to the back plate. So let's grab an adjustment layer and put it just above the plate, but below everything. And then we want to set the map layer to the hand effects and then increase the displacement slightly. Perfect. And then let's add a little bit of light interaction on myself here because the hand is bright. So let's grab another adjustment layer and then add curve and let's push the blue and the red a little bit and then mask my face and my torso and then feather it a bit. And then lastly, I want to add some reflection on the eye. So let's create a purple solid and then we want to create like a crescent shape on the edge of my pupil and feather it one pixel. And then to breeze through this again, I went back to Mocha and tracked my face and apply that tracking data to a null and then parent the reflection solid to that null. And there we go. That was how I created this Miss Marvel cosmic energy effects in Adobe After Effects. And once again, if you want to purchase the assets that I used in this tutorial, you can check out our website at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to drop a like and let us know in the comment section below what you thought of this video or if you have other tutorial ideas that you would like us to cover. Most of all, be sure to subscribe. We are aiming for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And also there are a ton of other resources on our channel such as tutorials, podcasts, VFX breakdowns, and so much more that we think you'll find valuable. This can be your home for visual effects content. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.